Hello, in this video I'm going to show you Quizlet. Quizlet is a website where you can create your own word lists or glossaries um, with a set of words and their definitions. So this is the website, um, I normally get to it by just googling Quizlet but the website is just as simple, it's quizlet.com. Okay, so once you get to their homepage you need to sign up. Sign up is quite simple, you just put in a username and a password and a couple of little details and then once you've confirmed on email you're pretty much set to go. Once you've done that you need to log in. Okay, so this is my front page and there's things here because I've made a few resources on here. Yours might look a little bit blanker, to, um, more blank to start. Okay, so what you've got on Quizlet is you create sets and you click on this. And if you're not sure how to do this, you need a bit of extra tuition. I've done a separate video on how to create a set. Basically, it's just creating a set of words and their definitions. Once you've done that, your set will look something like this. Okay, so you've got your words and their definitions. And when you're creating your set, you can either use like dictionary definitions, write your own definitions, you can do what you want basically. So once you've got your set set up, you've got these activities along the top that your students can play and use to practice. Now, if you're thinking, oh, no, I don't have a computer room, I'm not certain my students are going to go on their phones or their computers at home and do this. Okay, that's fine. Let's do something that you can print. So you can print the words just like this. You could send that home for revision, for homework. The table and the glossary are pretty much similar. Then you've got um, the cards, which I like to use. So it prints it in a nice little table. You can have it slightly bigger as well. And what you can do with that is print it off, cut it up, making a matching activity or a palmanism um, or a mingle matching activity with your students so that they're getting interactive and doing a kinesthetic task with them. The other thing that you can print here is index cards. So just little revision cards that you can give your students to revise from. Now, there's one other thing that you can print, which is the test. You can do this online too, but um, the test, you can choose the types of questions you want. So for example, if I just want a simple matching exercise, starting with the term, and I create new test, it gives me a nice matching activity ready done. I don't need to worry about typing all of this out again, it's all there for me. And I just click on print and it prints it in a lovely little handout for me. If I want to have a mixture of questions and I just click on some more, maybe I want to start with the definition and the term and then I create the test and it creates me a nice new test. I love using these at the start of the lessons as sort of a warmer as students come in um, or as a plenary to check what students have learned. Um, they're really great, you could send them home as homework as well and like I said it's also online so students can just go on here and put in the answers. Right, so the other things that we've got are the interactive things online. So students can sign up for themselves for Quizlet, they can get the app on their phone, they can come on a computer and log in like this and then they just search for your set so you give them for example mine is access to FEE so they find my set and then they can automatically go in and play it. The other thing that you can do is embed all of these interactive elements onto your Moodle page and if you're interested in doing that I'll do, I've done a separate video and you can have a watch of that and see how you embed it. It's really simple. Okay, so the things that we've got that are interactive and online, first of all, flashcards. So simply the word is there, they have a think, what does this mean, have a guess, and if they can't guess or if they guess and they want to check, they click to flip it. And then they can go through all the words like that, just clicking and flipping and going through them. Okay, now the next one we've got is learn. 
And this basically gives you the definition and then you have to um, put in the answer. Blah, blah, blah. If you get it wrong, it wasn't very good. Then they put the correct answer and then you can press any key to continue. There's also a give up button. So this is really a chance for learners to do it in their own time and have a go without any, you know, feeling bad because they've got it wrong in front of the class. Um, then we've got the speller. Slavery. Where this lovely American lady says your word and you have to try and spell it. And then you press enter. Torture. If you get it right, it goes green. And if you get it wrong... Like this. T O R T U R E, torture. She spells it out for you and then you get to try it again. So, this is um, a great thing for any spellings that you've got. All of these activities are embedding English. They're going through the meanings of words and the spellings of words, all things that you can put into your lesson and you can tick that box for embedding English in your um, courses. Um, then we've got the test, which I showed you before, which can be done online or printed off. And then we've got the more game versions of the um, activities. So we've got a scatter. So basically with scatter, everything is across the board. And you could do this up on the big screen on the smart board as a plenary, get people up to match them. And all you do is match the word onto the meaning and you do that against the clock while you're trying to do it as fast as you can so maybe students could race each other then the last activity that you can do is the race um, basically the definition comes flying across the screen and you have to write in the answer oh gosh it's hard and if you get it right it goes off and if you get it wrong you just have to keep going until you get it right. And then it will stop if you miss one. And a sense of right and wrong. It tells you conscience. And then you write it in. And of course you need to spell it correctly. So that's Quizlet. Um, there are other things you can do with this. But for to begin with, that this is it. Um, I hope that you think it's interesting and that you can use it in your lessons. Hopefully you'll be able to create a great resource with it today. Thanks for watching. Bye.